This is our uh, Haldex oil. And to get to change the Haldex filter, you need this special Haldex oil filter wrench. This is dip oil, OEM dip oil. This I got uh, just to give it a shot. Since I'm changing the fuel filter and stuff, I figured I'd throw like a fuel uh, cleaner through it. And Liquid Molly makes one, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And our fuel filter. So this is everything we bought. I also got like filters and the and plugs and and crush washers and stuff, but. This is like the gist of it and all we're going to try and tackle today. Moving on to the diff. So this is the forward side of the car, right? So that's the fill plug and that's the drain plug. We had to use heat to get this fill plug loose. And let me just show you the technique we used. You put that up in there, right? And then you take your wrench. You put it on there and you can turn it. Now we already loosened it because it was a huge pain in the butt, but uh, we used heat to get it loose and then this sort of technique where you stick the Allen in there, you get a wrench on it and you turn it. Okay. Don't use heat on your own unless you've used it before. So we're not responsible for anything that you do. Be careful because there is a wire loom that's probably about six inches up top of it. So if you do use heat, be careful that so you don't get any heat on that and melt it. Using heat to get stuck bolts is pretty common, but like if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Yeah. So we're going to drain the diff fluid <laughs> and then fill it up with the one quart of OEM axle oil. So when you're taking the drain plug out, try to keep pressure against it. It will help you control the uh, explosion and leakage. It's going to make a mess regardless, but. Voila. Inspect for any metallic particles on the magnetic drain plug, which is an OEM piece. So people that don't believe in magnetic drain plugs, Volkswagen uses an OEM, so there you go. New magnetic drain plug. So this is the one that came out, no particles were on it. The new one. Torque's out 25 newton meters on this. So, per the manual, we're going to fill until it starts draining out of the fill plug. And then cap it. Don't reuse plugs, they're cheap yeah, enough. They're cheap enough. Most years are probably gonna look a little bunk. If you live in uh, crappy locations like we do, Midwest, aka everything gets ruined by salt. We're trying to get this one off the road for the next winter though, so it doesn't get destroyed, is it? The more direct gravity feed you have on it, the better it's going to be. Oh. We have a steady screen. So torque on the, uh, the fill plug is the same as the torque on the drain plug. Good luck finding a way to get a torque wrench on it, so we're just going to use our best judgment to go guten type. Diff was actually pretty easy. I was kind of concerned. The most concerning part is just having some crusty drain plugs and not messing anything up. All right, so uh, we're working on the Haldex unit now. This is like impossible to show, but they say you're pretty much only gonna get like, you know, one little turn out of, out of this wrench each time. You just keep moving it. ECS carries it. They sell this as a kit also, but I already had the 
Already had the wrench. All right, now we got the filter changed. Time to uh, drain the oil and then service. This is a uh, five millimeter Allen. So this seems weird, but this is legitimately how it's done. We're gonna, that little drain hole, that's where you fill from. So you stab this up in it so it's not gonna leak out. Take this little guy and you push up until it bottoms out. And then quickly remove it and immediately insert the drain plug so that you don't lose any oil. That's legitimately how it's done. It's a giant pain in the butt. Simultaneously. Yeah. So Brian's gonna help me so we're not losing stuff. All right, so I gotta service the whole thing. Once it stops, I'm gonna pull out of the way and Brian's gonna... How about you do this part? I think that's a better idea. You'd be in charge of putting this in. Okay, go ahead. Is it bottomed out? Yeah. Okay. I know you're ready. Yep. Woo! Pretty good. Probably gotta be in a vent. Pretty good. Some sort of vent. This is 25 newton meter. Yeah, just like pushing it out of it. Yeah, like you're talking about like breather lines for dips and shit. Yeah, like if you go look at that dip behind the. Yeah. All right, next up is a fuel filter. We got these crazy looking fuel filter pliers that we're gonna figure out how to use, or fuel line pliers. Uh, and then it's just like one clamp. This is a really easy thing to do. It's just you know, not breaking things. arrows on this. This is the tank side, this is the engine side, right? Cool. Do not over tighten this. There's no need for it to be anything more than like barely overhand tight. <laughs> 